are you guys? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're just gonna be doing makeup. That's it. This video is not sponsored. We're just chilling, okay? We're doing makeup. I get so many DMs from you guys. I think it's my fellow millennials who are just craving old school makeup tutorials. Like just sit down and put on makeup and teach and talk about it. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like I love old school makeup tutorials. Today I'm just gonna be doing like a really pretty soft pink feminine glam. I'm gonna be talking about my actual makeup this entire video. I'm gonna try not to get sidetracked and talk about other things in my personal life. I'm gonna stay focused and talk to you about makeup, about the products that I'm using, the techniques that I'm using, why I'm doing certain things, why I'm not doing certain things. That way at the end of this video, you can walk away learning something and maybe be inspired to do your own makeup and try something new and fun to make yourself feel beautiful. So. Let's get into it. Okay, so today I'm gonna to start with my face. So rule of thumb is if you are concentrating on an eye look, you're gonna to wanna to start with your eyes, right? Like if you're gonna be doing something smoky or maybe like a big cat eye or something where you're gonna have a lot of fallout on the face, you'll start with your eyes because it'll make your overall makeup just look so much better in the end if you save the face for last. But for today's look, I am in the mood just to do something that's more skin focused. That's the word, <laughs> skin focused. Um, and so therefore I'm gonna to start with my skin and start with the face and I'm gonna keep the eyes really light and easy okay but it's just a good rule of thumb anytime you want to do like a beautiful eye look save the face for last trust me right now I'm going in with the elf power grip primer this is just like my favorite sticky primer ever like I'm sorry it doesn't get better than this she's a sticky queen okay and then speaking of stick I'm gonna go in with the milk hydro grip spray and I just soak my face and then I let all this sit on my face for about 60 seconds before I go in because you do not want to go in on your face with product immediately while your skin is still this wet and dewy. It's going to have the opposite effect and it's like putting two magnets together. It's going to repulse your foundation and your cream products. So wait like 60 seconds for all this to get really tacky. Okay, I'm going to grab this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, okay? And this right here is literally just a glow. I think we all had the same experience. The first time that I got this, I thought that it was a foundation and I was like, I hate this product because I did not know how to actually use it. So this is literally just a glow. So I'm gonna put this on the skin and then I'm gonna grab my foundation and blend it on top of that. And this product is just gonna give it like a really beautiful dewy glistening glow, which I need right now because I am fresh off being sick. I've had the flu all week long and my skin is so dry and it was so broken out with like a full on rash. It just hasn't been cute around here. And I'm gonna grab the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint in this shade 110. This is one of their fairest shades. I wish they would come out with more shades. Like I get that you're a tint, but like I need more shades, okay? What we're gonna do here is a thin amount of foundation, okay? Because we're really like focusing on the base today. So we're gonna do a thin amount of foundation and then we're gonna go in and really give the coverage with concealer. So starting off with two products that are more thin, sheer products and covering the entire face. But at this point, do not worry about covering up imperfections. Right now, all we're really focusing on is actually just evening out the skin tone and we'll deal with imperfections in a moment. I can't believe how long it's been since I've gotten a spray tan, just on a side note. I am really rocking just Casper. Okay, great. So now that I look like I am dying, <laughs> I'm going to go in with my concealer. Hourglass concealer, girl, this con concealer. There's a lot of good concealers out there, but this one, this one right here. If you are looking for a new concealer and you have not tried Hourglass, girl, it is, in my opinion, the best. It is so gorgeous. So full coverage. So start off with a little bit. Listen to my words, not my actions, because I'm going to go in with a whole lot of it, okay? But start off with a little bit. It is so full coverage and so freaking gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I do have a very thin layer of that foundation all over my face. And now this is when we're gonna start to add coverage with the concealer and our selected areas, okay? So I'm gonna blend that under the entire eye. I still do that V, I really do. Like that we did in 2016. 2016 makeup is just who I am to my core and it's gonna be my whole life. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that concealer, put a little bit right there. I'm gonna put it down the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna put it right here on the sides of the nose. All the areas that I need additional coverage 
is where I'm gonna go ahead and put that concealer. But we're gonna leave like this cheek area just with that skin tint on it. That way you can still see skin, okay? Makeup, it's just nothing but an illusion. It's smoke and mirrors. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's just me, it's my skin, okay? So we're gonna leave certain areas see-through so that you can still see skin, okay? And then the other areas, we're gonna go in with a little bit of plaster, really cover that shit up. Give ourselves a quick little rhinoplasty, possibly a boob job, and move on with life. <laughs> I really look like I belong in the grave. Let's get some color on this bitch, shall we? Time to start going in with more cream Prodex, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario Shaping Stick and I am using shade Light. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line on the cheek, okay? A lot of mistakes that I see still made commonly, which is okay if you're making this mistake, easy fix, is you are thinking, oh, it's a contour. You're thinking you wanna put it down here, right? Especially because it's cream, you're gonna place it on the skin higher than you actually think because you're gonna blend it down and blend it in. And you do not want your contour in this area. You want this area to stay the color of your skin because you want it to stay light and white to give you that chiseled effect, okay? So put that contour higher than you would actually think on the face. I'm gonna put a little here. If you don't have this brush, this brush is not a want, it is a need. Ever since I started using this brush, there is no other brush that I will use to blend out my contour. This is so perfect. It's by BK Beauty. It's number 109. I'll link it down below. It is such a game changer. It's been TikTok viral for months. It's worth the hype. It is amazing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stamp this product into the skin. I legitimately look crazy right now, but that's fine. We do not wanna take this too low, okay? Because again, this area, we wanna keep the color of our skin tone. So the rule of thumb is the top of the ear. So you can grab your brush, top of the ear right there to your lip. Everything from there down, should stay the color of your skin, okay? Contour should be above that brush. And I'll show you guys how to correct that if you do make a mistake and take it too low. For now, just blend this in. Okay, so that's what the face should look like right now. Okay, so that's the side blended in, that's the side unblended. Are you guys getting old school makeup tutorial vibes? Because I am and I'm living my fucking best over here. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit further than I actually should, just for demonstration purposes, okay? If you feel like you brought down that color too much, what you're gonna do is grab your concealer, and take the tiniest bit, top of the ear, and just draw a line, okay? Let that sit for like 30 seconds so that it can kind of start to dry just a little bit because you want it to be tacky because it'll just make this process easier. Grab your bitch ass a brush. This is a different brush. Well, it's the same one that I was using, but it's a clean one, okay? And then just go ahead and stamp that to literally erase that product and clean up your mess. Okay, now it's time for blush. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Happy Blush right here. This is a really pretty peachy shade and I'm actually gonna mix two different shades, but I'm gonna start off with just going in with Happy. Rare Beauty is such a great formula. If you do not have cream blushes or you're intimidated by cream blushes, Rare Beauty is a good place to start because it's just such a good standard formula, but they are very pigmented. So start off with a small amount and then build from there, okay? So I'm gonna go in with another one of these brushes, okay? Yes, I have three because they are the best brush to exist, okay? And then I'm going to take this, slightly bring it down. I mean, like, look at that. It looks so scary at first. Don't be scared. It's gonna get pretty. I'm gonna take this and wrap it around the eyebrow, on the side of the eye, and down on the actual cheekbone. I overestimated just how pigmented that dot was that I put on. Normally I don't put on this much and holy wow. So you're just gonna watch me blend this out and make it work because Jay's Louise, such a beautiful color though. Like let's just appreciate the shade. Okay, but we're gonna take it and we're literally putting that underneath of the eye all the way to the nose. Like all of this, okay? It's a little scary, but the end effect is so girly, okay? So let's just stick with me. Go back in with your concealer, okay? And we're gonna do a dot right there and a dot right there. Grab your beauty sponge, okay? And then we're just going to go right over top of that, stippling it nice and light, starting by the nose, bringing over, bringing down, okay? And already you can see this, turning the sponge, going over, all of that and you can see the difference in that cheek versus whoa, sunburn cheek. Now I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place Liquid Blush in Blush Lily. This is a super, super cool tone blush and I'm gonna take this and put it right 
on the center of the cheek and I'm gonna blend that out. This is just my routine that I have been loving. Okay, you do not have to use two blushes, but I am obsessed with these two together. So I just take that and then blend that out. It's basically gonna look like we just went skiing. Like we just came in from the slopes, you know? I feel like everybody is addicted to this part. There's something about it that's like, uh, okay, you get it. I'm gonna go in with the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. This is the pink one. This is Viola Rose. I actually have no clue if that's what it's called. All right, and I'm gonna take just an Amazon puff right here. Any Amazon puff is fine. You can get like a pack of like 10 or 20 for super inexpensive, okay? This is my favorite current under eye powder right now. I think it is worth every single penny. No, I don't know your financials. I ain't trying to tell you to go into debt over this thing, but I will say if you are a girl with dry under eyes, this is gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna take that on a puff, dab that and press it on the entire under eye. I will say this powder smells a pinch like grandma's pussy, but that's okay. We ignore it because it just looks so beautiful. Okay, and take that all the way up. She's gonna mattify the out of your under eye. Now you can do a generous amount of this. You can do a little bit of it. I do a generous amount just because I do a generous amount of everything. I am a 2016 girly, like I've already previously stated. And also this is just gonna make it so that your makeup is not gonna move all day long. Like, let me tell you, my makeup does not move. It never has, okay? For the last 10 years of my life, when I do my makeup, I leave the house, I don't take touch-ups. I don't take powders. I don't take beauty sponges. All I take is my lip gloss when I leave the house. I could be gone for 15 hours. My makeup does not move. And that's on being dry and also knowing how to do it right. Bitch, those under eyes. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna set my actual eyelid. Okay, so now I'm gonna set the entire face. Listen, there's just no other powder. There's no other powder. I'm using my Jaclyn Cosmetics Powder Move Powder to set my face. It's the best powder in the industry, in my opinion. It's so beautiful. It doesn't have talc. The ingredients are great. It leaves the skin looking moisturized. It gives such a soft filtered effect and you can still see the skin and it doesn't look powdery. It is a sad product to see go. Like I have like three of these left in my shade. The industry better create something just as good before I run out of these. Otherwise I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> okay, my entire face is set. We are matte, but yet we still have like moisture in the skin, which is why I'm so sad to see that specific powder go because there's just literally nothing like it. There's still like a glisten. It still looks alive, but we are set, honey. We are set. I'm gonna grab some powder brown, bronzer. I'm gonna grab some powder bronzer now. I'm gonna go in with the House Labs in shade level two, and I'm just going to slightly bring some warmth into the skin Okay, everyone has their own process as far as how do they, they do this. Some people, they use their cream bronzer and they immediately go in with a cream product to set. I think that everything looks much more like perfect and flawless in the end, if that's the look you're going for. If you set your entire face with a super sheer powder first, and then you add in the warmth and the pinks and the, the corals and all that with your blushes after you set with a sheer, sheer, powder. Like if you're going for that flawless, almost like plastic look, like perfect, then I would do those steps. I think that like the prettiest outcome with makeup is honestly going in with lots of layers, but all sheer product. Mm, the cheeks are looking so good. Okay. I'm going to grab my blush brush that just has like excess blush from like the last 25 makeup applications. <laughs> I'm going to make my nose pink. Okay over top of that nose contour. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of highlight and I'm gonna put that on the tip of my nose because I just think that that is the cutest thing ever and I'm never gonna stop. I know that some of you, it keeps you up at night, but you're never gonna stop this. Okay, so now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and I've actually been kind of rocking the 2016 brow recently, okay? And I have to say, I have a new brow pencil that I'm obsessed with. I know it's nothing new to the world, but this Rare Beauty brow pencil, oh my God, it is so creamy and so good. It makes applying my brows so easy. Like I dread doing my brows, but because of this, bitch, I actually kind of look forward to it. Like it's fun now. It's such a good brow pencil. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I just feel like there's nothing exciting about brows. BRB. Voila, I am back with brows, okay? The brows, like I said, they're giving 2016. I've been into like block 
brows again recently and not like super crazy fluffy brows. I know it's so weird because fluffy brows are like so trendy, but at the end of the day, you guys, I think that makeup trends are kind of ridiculous. I understand trends when it comes to home decor. I understand trends when it comes to shoes, when it comes to jewelry. But when it comes to makeup trends, when you really think about that, we're talking about our faces, okay? We all have different faces. Like no two faces are the same. So when it comes to a trend on the face, I don't really believe in that. I kind of do my own thing on my own face because this is my face, that's your face. You know what I'm saying? Although fluffy brows are so trendy right now, I do love them when I have on very minimal makeup. But if I'm doing a full face, I've been really into like the block eyebrows recently. I just feel like you just can't go wrong with that look. What do I wanna do with my life? Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette right here because this has just become like my go-to palette ever since the Jaclyn Hill times Morphe like whole collection has been taken away. I'm like, we need to find other palettes because I have been using the original Jaclyn Hill palette. All of the eyeshadows I created with Morphe for so many years, I just stopped touching other brands. And I'm like, we need to remove myself. Like I need to remove myself from that era and start using other eyeshadows, okay? Even though that eyeshadow palette paid for this entire house and every single Birkin that I own. God bless that collaboration, but we need to move on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this cool shade right here, which I can't believe I'm even saying that. But you guys, when I am as fair as I am right now, every single shade turns peach on me. Every shade turns orange on me because I'm so stinking white. So I actually have to go in with pretty cool tone shades just for them to look neutral on my pale skin. So I'm gonna grab a super cool, Satisfaction. I'm gonna grab that shade and put that in the crease of my eye and use this just as my base, okay? Cause uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're really not doing anything like spectacular on the eyes today. We're gonna keep the eyes super, super simple and soft, but this is how we're gonna do it, all right? We're taking that cool tone shade. We're putting the brush initially in the outer part of the eye. And then we're gonna just take that up and out towards the brow, okay? Not up towards the brow, but up and out towards the brow. Just kind of like dusting that out there with basically nothing left on the brush. And this is what we call blending. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the Major Dimensions 2 palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a dusty rosy. And I'm gonna just put that in the entire outer corner and bring that towards the inner corner of the lid, like so. Although this is going to be obsolete and no more, I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels palette because there is a shade in this palette, it's called Shortcake, right here, and there is no color like this anywhere in the world. So this palette is still available right now, but obviously in like the next few weeks, it will be taken away forever and it will be gone because the brand is gonna to cease to exist. But I'm gonna go in with the shade right here for now, I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And the way this is gonna tie this look together, this is one of my favorite eyeshadows in the entire world. It is just like the creamiest, most pastel, just soft pink ever. Look at the color of that eyeshadow. It's just so good. Since I have this palette out, I might as well go in with that bright white shade and use that on the inner corner of my eye as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that white shade and I'm going to just slightly go on the brow bone. Instead of doing a super frosty white highlight, I'm going to do matte white with a teeny touch of frost, okay? So we're just gonna start off by putting that white on the entire brow bone. Okay, then I'm gonna take just a little bit of a actual highlight and I'm literally tapping it just right there with a precision brush. Like, that's it. There's that tiny part and then we're walking away. Like, I just think that that like hot spot highlight is so freaking pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight and touch the inner corner, which is something that I like do not do anymore. I just did this for the first time in years yesterday and I loved the way it looked so much that I was like, okay, maybe I need to start doing this more. Okay, now I'm gonna take a dark matte chocolate brown 
and I am going to press this all along the lash line just to give a subtle smoky effect. And then when I'm on the outer corner, I'm slightly bringing that up with whatever is left on my brush, okay? Just slightly. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I love it when my makeup comes together. Now what I'm gonna do, something interesting that I don't think I've ever even done on YouTube before. I'm gonna grab that same dark brown, with an angled brush and I'm gonna do a tiny little wing with eyeshadow, okay? So I have to look really precise in my mirror for this. Something that I do, <laughs> I put my brush in my mouth to get it wet and then I can be more precise with what I'm doing, okay? Okay, so now we have a little shadow wing going on. I'm going to curl my lashes and throw on some fake ones. For false lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Style San Diego by Lily Lashes. These are so freaking gorgeous. I discovered them a couple of months ago and they have become one, I would say probably like my most worn lash. They're just so feminine, so full, so beautiful. This is a step that I never ever skip because if you're gonna sit here and you're gonna take the hour to do your makeup, you might as well do the little steps that just add a little extra something, something. You know, when you see someone and their makeup just looks like extra perfect, I believe it's because they take the time to do extra steps in their makeup, such as this one right here. Every time I apply false lashes, I take an eyeliner. This is by Rare Beauty. This is one of my favorites because it's so creamy, so jet black and super skinny. I take it and I just line my upper waterline generously. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna marry the false lashes and make it so that you cannot see a seam anywhere in sight. Like it's just gonna look so much more natural. I obviously know that these lashes do not look natural. They are clearly fake lashes, but if you have a separation and a disconnect right here, when someone is talking to you up close, for me, it's the only thing I'm gonna fixate on. I'm gonna be talking to you and I'm gonna notice that gap and I'm gonna be like, oh, the false lashes are not married to the real ones. This step will ensure that everything just looks so good. We are almost done, God bless. Okay, going back with the Patrick Ta palette, I'm gonna grab this like rosy shade right there and I'm gonna give the lower lash line just a little dusting of that color. I actually need to be careful because I'm so fair that this is quickly gonna look like I actually have pink eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Strawberry Feels palette again. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Shortcake and I'm just gonna use that and blend it out because it's such a pale pink. Oh yeah, so much better. And I'm just gonna take that and blend it on the entire lower eye area. I'm gonna take white eyeliner, okay? And then I'm going to line my lower lash line. As long as you don't do this too aggressively, like we don't want like this stark white, like whoosh, cause it just looks like really fake and enhanced. Just do a really quick thin line on your lower lash line and it'll make your eyes look much more doll-like and awake. When I was overweight and my face was so inflamed. I started using white eyeliner on my lower lash line all the time to try to make my eyes look bigger because my face looked so big. I was like trying to make my eyes look bigger. Does that make sense? <laughs> Before I go in and do final touches in my lip, I'm just gonna take a setting spray and soak my face. Woo, your girl needs it. I'm so dry. Okay, we are finally gonna cover up these crusty ass lips. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario lip pencil in the shade Lauren. Such a gorgeous rosy shade. I'm just going right over my crusty lips. I do not care. Okay, my line, my lines are lipped. <laughs> my lips are lined. So right now my lips are incredibly crooked. I have not gotten filler touched up in them in a very, very long time. And then I have braces on top of it and I feel like it makes my lips stick out so weird and awkwardly. But I will say just a tip about overlining your lips. Overline just the center as much as possible and keep the sides normal and natural. It will give your mouth such a pouty, girly, feminine look as opposed to overlining all the way over here. Overline just the center, just the cupid's bow, and it'll just make it so like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now that we have that all over the lips, I'm gonna go in with one of my Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks in the shade Hope because it is such a cool tone pink. And I'm telling you, it is basically impossible to find cool tone pink lipsticks and liquid lipsticks in this industry. They are nowhere to be found. But I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. lip oil in Rose Envy, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of that over top. I get asked about this lip combo every time I wear it, and it's just like such a pretty, 
berry pink for someone who is super, super fair and light in skin tone like me. Now we're just doing some final touch-ups. I'm just going over the under eye with a little bit of light powder just to make it look extra perfect. Again, it's just those extra steps that makes your makeup look perfect. Okay, I'm taking a little bit more of that Givenchy loose powder and I'm just gonna stipple this brush underneath the eye and back to the temple right there just because I did a lot of like touching on this under eye while I was working on my eyes. I low key should have done my eyes first today, I think, but that's okay. This is how you just make everything come back to looking perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is by Gucci. It is the blush in the shade 07 True Pink. I am telling you, it is that bitch. It is that blush. It is so freaking beautiful. It is so doll-like. It is so dainty. It's so girly and feminine. I'm going to take that and hit that right on the tops of the cheeks, literally like by my eyeshadow and just wrap that underneath like so. Oh my God. It's the prettiest blush. It's gorgeous. I mean, come on. It's just stupid how pretty it is. A little bit more setting spray. <sighs> Then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. No matter what setting spray I use, okay, I end it with the Charlotte Tilbury. Then to finish it off, I'm gonna just do a little mascara on my lower lashes. There is the final look, up close and personal, so you can see. Okay, you guys, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Maybe you learned a little something. Maybe you got inspired to play with makeup. This was so much fun. And that's it, you guys. I'm done blabbering and taking up your time. I love you. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.